Warning, this is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Gold trading off in a big way this morning, that's great stuff. Hold your positions and expect the gold to hold in this area between 1750 and 1800 for a while. Uh, as you know, we expect to hit the $2,2100 level sometime in the fourth quarter. I wouldn't be surprised to see 2500 by the end of the year. Just remember we're in a phase right now where people are desperate to settle their accounts because the third quarter is ending, fourth quarter is starting in 10 days. Also remember, please, that uh, margin requirements in many offshore uh, exchanges have been increased, not just in gold. I'm talking about in equities and other positions. And as a consequence, people are doing everything they can to raise cash. So in the gold area, we feel very confident of our present situation. I find it interesting to notice that Manchester United, one of the most outstanding uh, football teams in the world, decided to shelve its IPO. That's an indication to you, and it was a Singapore IPO, that's an indication to you of how screwed up things are on a worldwide basis. A month ago, I thought that thing would blast out for several or a billion dollars or a billion one, something like that. Secondly, Rio Tinto, the gigantic mining operation, has uh, noted that Customers are asking it to delay, delay delivery of product, delay delivery of minerals. This is unheard of, but reflective of the depth of the global contraction. Uh, well, I'll talk about Solyndra in a minute. One of the things that came up in the course of this uh, latest uh, quote-unquote rogue trader scandal is, and I find certain things just astonishing. ETF, exchange-traded funds, in Europe and in England, don't have to be booked when you do them. Let me repeat that. Trades in ETFs, exchange-traded funds, do not have to be booked when you do them. So I guess you do them, you book them when you feel like it, or you don't feel like it, and the ones that don't work out so well, you don't put in the books, and the ones that do, you put in the books after they've made good, or something like that. Seems pretty bizarre to me. Now off to Solyndra, back to local, uh, excuse me, U.S. politics. As you know by now, several key executives of Solyndra are about to take the Fifth Amendment in testifying before uh, Congress, where that is entirely within their rights to do. I must say, I'm not surprised, because it's clear to me that any sensible executive would have known that this deal had very little likelihood of success. Indeed, we have pointed this out. At the, we didn't point out about Solyndra, but we talked about the danger of uh, Chinese uh, subsidized companies destroying the market for everybody else, which is exactly what happened. So I'm not surprised to see them taking the Fifth Amendment. It'll be interesting to see whether they take the Fifth Amendment on questions about what did they do politically. Or are they just going to take the Fifth Amendment about corporate behavior? By the way, uh, I don't know whether I'm optimistic about Obama's new attitude, because I don't know whether it'll stay. But I do know this. The National Republicans have not hesitated to take on and defeat uh, in their local states people who are national Democratic leaders. I'll believe that the Obama people are serious when they start running candidates and financing candidates from the DNC, which is loaded with money, the Dem Democratic Congressional Committee, Democratic Senatorial Committee, when they start running candidates against John Boehner and uh, I think his name is Eric Cantor. And that's when I'll know they're serious and understand that this is a fight that they're in. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Keep swinging.